told you, y'all wanted a tour of the inside of my RV, so here it is. Let's get started. I've had so many people reach out to me and say that they wanted me to do a tour of my camper so that you could see it all at one time instead of seeing little bits and pieces here and there on each video. So today I'm going to do an RV decor video tour and next week I'm going to do an RV organization video. So this is going to be a two part series. First, this week, we are touring and looking at the decor, letting you see the whole camper all at one time. So if you're interested in the organization of the video, you need to subscribe and hit that bell notification. So next week when I upload that, it will notify you. Now, I absolutely love our camper, this 337. This one just works for us. The flow of it and everything. It is absolutely perfect. Now. There is one camper that I would love to have, but it would be way too long. I feel like this one at 35 and a half feet, it fits in every place that we've ever taken it to. And it's been really close, not fitting in some spots. We're just gonna go ahead and start here in the den. There is a lot of upgrades that I have done in our den. And I will leave links to videos down in the description box and up here in this box. Also, I have playlist. I have RV organization playlist and RV decor playlist. And mostly all the things that I'm going to talk about are going to be in those playlists as well. If you haven't already watched it already, I took down my, all my balances and made this feel more like a home. And if you hadn't watched about how to make your RV feel more like home, you can watch that video as well. I originally w did not change out my balances because I wanted my blackout shades and I didn't think that I could make the curtain rods work with the blackout shades. I ended up having to buy an extra piece to make them work, but they worked perfect. And I absolutely love how this turned out and it made the biggest impact on our RV of anything else that I have done. Another thing that I have done in the den now, this couch is not peeling. I haven't had any problems with it, but I wanted to get some of the brown out of here without replacing the couch. So I ended up ordering off of Amazon couch cover. I will link in the description box as well, our Amazon storefront and all the items that I bought from Amazon that are in our RV. Without spending and changing out the couch, I just put the slip cover on there I like the slip cover. Yes, I do have to adjust it here and there, but for the impact and the price point that I did with it, I think it is perfect. It looks great and it gets a little bit of the brown out of our RV. I have the Turkish tile curtains up now. I did have the painter's tarp curtains up before that. I think they're both really pretty. Oh, my light started working. Excuse me for a minute but I do love the Turkish tiles and I like the little fringer at the bottom. I just think they look great. Another thing that I made for here in the camper, I made this ottoman that I have and it is a great piece that you can have for storage and to put up your feet or another seat. So it's a multi-purpose item. All I did was I took some one bites, I took some plywood and I took a piece of foam I made this top for this box that I had gotten at, at home. I have a, also, I have a couple of these little tables that I had got at Five Below a few years ago. They had them again this year, but they were different colors and different styles. But these have been great. You can move them around to put your coffee in different places. So I really have enjoyed having these. If you're new to the channel, if you like RV decor organization, reviews on different products and some adventures, then you need to subscribe to our channel. This couch is peeling. The top, it, it just started peeling like this past year. We've never had a problem. Now we do have dogs and I think she lays up there a lot. So I think what happened is it got like a little scratch and then it just started peeling like crazy. I bought a six piece set to cover this with 
and Beale did not like it on the bottom. So I left them on the top where it is peeling for now. And we may end up having to replace this couch later. But right now, this just keeps the peeling from getting everywhere. This cover matches this cover. They're the exact same brand. They're just different styles. This is made for more of a recliner where this is made for a couch. A lot of places in the RV, these were glass and I didn't like the glass look. I just took pill and stick wallpaper and put it over all the glass in the camper so that it didn't have that camper feel. I just didn't like the way the glass looked. And you could do like any kind of pill and stick wallpaper. It sticks great to glass. Now, just recently, I put up this 3D brick on the fireplace. I think this looks great. I'm still not 100% on these drawers. They looked really funny when I left them the dark, dark brown, but now I think I have them too light. I need to match another paint and get it to go just a little bit darker, but not as dark as the cabinet. This was a super easy way to update this area. I love how it made it feel more like a fireplace. Now, over here in the kitchen, there's been quite a few upgrades that I have done. One is this bar. I, it's a flip down bar. It flips down. I have magnets on it that holds it closed while we're traveling. And then when we get where we want, I can flip it up and it gives me extra counter space and extra place to eat. As well as I have this little cabinet and I added this top to it so that I could hide things inside here. But that way it gives us another space to set things when we need to and it rolls around so it can go anywhere that I need it to. Here over at the pantry, this was more glass. I used chalk paint, peel and stick. I used peel and stick chalk paper. <laughs> and then I made these designs to put on them with my Cricut just to make this not have that glass. Again, I didn't like the glass and this helps get rid of that. Now over here, I put up all this tile. I ordered a bunch of different peel and stick tile and to me, this looked the most like real tile and it was in the exact color that I wanted. There was a blind behind here that I absolutely hated. And this window was something that I really loved about this camper. And then after I cooked and got grease all over the blinds, I hated this window because I hated the blinds. I ended up just taking down the blinds. I put up a new balance and then I just put a tincture rod in here. I put these curtains. Now I keep these curtains, I would say 90% of the time they stay over here. I never have to pull these, but if we do want privacy, I do pull them, but I do not pull the curtains while I'm cooking. That is a huge no. I've taken this cutting board and I've made me more counter space over here. I do not have to move it while traveling. I have done something special to it. And I actually have a video that I'm going to do about how to change the space because that will be a video coming out in the next few weeks. A big change, the, it was probably the first year that we lived in the camper. I took out the dinette table. I hated the dinette table because I sit and edit on my computer and work on my computer a lot while we're traveling and I wanted to look out the window and if you're sitting at the table, it was always everything was at an angle. This here, taking that table out, we did not miss that space, but we love having this and Aspen and Bill absolutely love this because when we're gone, Aspen sits right here and watches for us. And then Belle sits on top of the couch. I just took the chairs that were already came with the camper. I just recovered them. And then that way I repurposed what I already had. I built this whole table and I did a video and it has all the dimensions. The only thing that I wish I had done, I wish it was about four to six inches shorter than what I built it. That is the only thing that I would do different with this. I also added the lights around the bar. I like the glow that it gives. I love these lights a whole lot. When I first got in here today, I haven't turned them on in a few weeks and they wouldn't come on. So I thought they were messed up, but then all of a sudden they popped on. 
I don't know what was wrong with them. Because I was going to say, this is something I regret. <laughs> because it was a lot of work to get them around inside there. Because there's a little lip that they go all the way around. But they look great and I love them. Over here at the bar, I do have, and I need to charge it. I have some remote lights that do the same thing. They're white. But I need to charge them because they die so much, so quick but there's just not a good place to plug them in over here. I also added this shoe rack here when you walk in the door. But also this year I have added, I took the carpet off the stair risers and I even opened up the bottom step for more shoe storage. I swear you can't have too much shoe storage when you walk in. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, well, I don't keep my shoes here. We do. Bill will not go and put them up there. And I don't want to go up there every time we have to go take the dogs in and out. So our shoes are right here by the door. And as far as the bar goes, there's really nothing that I have done. I have done a few like organization things, which will be in my organization video. But this has been kept exactly the same. And then again, this was glass and I put the peel and stick wallpaper on top of it. In here in the foyer, I've added this 3D brick peel and stick tile. It really made the space look great. And the risers that I just did, to me, taking that carpet off was huge. That did amazing. Now up here in the bathroom, I have done a lot of changes up here. I have added the peel and stick tile that matches in the kitchen. I have added wallpaper behind the toilet to add a little bit of color. I've also added the shelves on each side, which I will talk more in depth about in the organization video, but I did do a video about those. We did not take down our shower doors, but I added this curtain to soften that up. I love our shower doors, but I didn't love how they looked. I added a little bit of wallpaper to the door in the bathroom because it was starting to peel, I guess, from the water when you're washing your hands down it. Also, in the bathroom, we changed out the faucet. I feel like that's a great decor thing that we changed out. I'm so lucky that the 337 has a lot of wall space. It gave plenty of room for my map that we pin where we've gone and all our photos of all our trips that we've been on. Up here in the bedroom, this was my biggest thing that I ever tackled. I took out our queen size bed, added this king size bed, which meant that I had to take out the end tables in here. Bill was sleeping on the end tables and us trying to sleep with two dogs. We just needed a king size bed. So we changed that out. Went with a different mattress because we had the original mattress that came with the camper until I changed this out. We just had a topper on top of it. Also in here, I added all this wood back here. That was from Rockin' Wood. It was super easy to do and I love how it worked. I took down the headboard and then added all this. And then we also took down the lights that were above the bed and I put up the little spotlights that are perfect for reading in bed. And then up here, I added the flip up table for Bill because he needed a place to put his coffee. And when I originally designed this space, I thought that's what those shelves above the bed were gonna do, but they did not work out for that. So then I added this flip up shelf, which is great. The only thing is you gotta make sure you flip it down before you bring in the slide. Also up here, it did not have blackout shades. They were just regular shades, which I think is weird. The bedroom didn't have blackout shades and that's the place that you sleep, but the den had blackout shades. Come on, Grand Design, what was up with that? But I ended up taking the waffle shades down and installing blackout shades. Had wanted some with a pretty print, but they were gonna cost so much money that I ended up just taking a stencil some white chalk paint and I painted these myself. I love how they turned out. I think they look great. And I'm redoing the bathroom in the house. I'm gonna do this same technique on some painter's tarps for my shower curtains in the bathroom because I loved this technique so much. I also hung up a rod and these curtains just to kind of get some of the brown that's over there away. 
and I know a lot of people don't like their mirrors, but I use my mirrors. I actually have my makeup and stuff up here because Bill gets ready in the shower and I'm trying to get dressed at the same time and it just doesn't work. I installed me a little place over here that I keep my makeup and my makeup mirror that I use this mirror as well as that mirror. And then I'll blow my hair dry as well from here that I keep my blow dryer in there. That is a tour of our camper. I hope you enjoyed this tour. And next week, we're gonna dive into organization that I've done in the camper. Till next time, like and subscribe.